peace and harmony coming at you today how to rid yourself and cleanse your mindset after uh, psychological brainwashing uh, psychological manipulation of the narcissist or the psychopath um, brainwashing and manipulation exploitation these are some of the tools that the narcissist will use to come out when they target you. Um, it's some of the tools that they use in order to get you under their control and under their manipulation and kind of playing into their hand a little bit. Um, when it comes to gaslighting and brainwashing, um, these are really um, kind of extreme uh, situations and extreme states of being where basically um, you're not perceiving a uh, reality and the way that it's meant and supposed to be perceived um, you're not grounded in your regular sense of perception you you're in kind of an altered state uh, for lack of a better way to put it and not a positive altered state like not you know hearing great music I feel so happy it's an altered state where it's a mix and uh, kind of a, a dangerous mix and concoction of emotions and perceptions where you're you become very paranoid uh, not just concerned but you become kind of paranoid you um, feel in a sense um, that like meanings and things are kind of distorted and you definitely begin to kind of doubt yourself and your impressions and the usual energy that you have is altered um, and when I mean energy I mean you feel you begin to feel very run down um, you're not coming from a deep uh, connection to yourself and your higher power you're coming more from a place of really you know giving up of yourself to another person where you're not really in control um, you know your fight or flight your your parasympathetic nervous system which runs you know um, through your body which is which is meant to give you energy it's connected to your adrenal glands um, it's put in, into a you know a hyper mode a hyper vigilant mode where you are in a constant state of hyper vigilance fight or flight and your body uh, begins to secrete cortisol which is a stress hormone and when your body does this it overworks your adrenal glands to the point where you're running on this dangerous concoction of hormones and uh, steroids in your body that put you into a hyper energy state in order to be you know hyper aware and um, it's very taxing on the system and eventually it's gonna cause you to feel um, exhausted worn out uh, deprived and almost like a sensory deprivation and uh, the the very difficult thing and the dangerous thing is that it causes your body to do things that ordinarily it would not do um, you know for example if um, the narcissist has hyper aroused you um, there are certain things and behaviors, ways that they treat you that will get you to become hyper sexually aroused um, where you feel like you want them all the time even if it's not in your best interest you feel like you're going crazy um, you know you feel like you want them so much and that you want to be there for them so much that your body is like secreting all these hormones and it might be a release of serotonin which is the feel-good chemical in your mind but you are now secreting an excessive amount of this of this uh, neurotransmitter and what's happening is you know the in the neurology of your mind you're secreting so much of these um, serotonin it becomes starts to become imbalanced um, with dopamine and some of the other neurotransmitters and this is a little bit scientific but I want you to really understand well for one that you're not to blame uh, for going through this but I want you to understand what's going on and also to give you the hope and the faith and the courage and understanding that you can recover from this state from this gaslighting and from this brainwash state um, it's very scary to go through that and 
Um, it takes a lot of focus and concentration. I know, I've been there. Um, it takes a very strong person. It takes a very strong mentality. And you can do that, okay? I know it's gonna feel like you've just been through a war zone. Um, you can't stop thinking about it. You can't stop coping with it. You can't stop dealing with it. You have to deal with it. Um, so you're doing a great job. Hang in there um, and continue to learn about the disorder and what has happened so you can get on the path to recovery. And, you know, number one tool is Um, sorry about that. There was a little bit of inf interference. Um, you know, number one tool is just going no contact.